Country Music Hall of Fame is a great place to visit, especially for a fan like me. Matt Fleck has more on this great venue that is full of country music history. Step inside the Country Music Hall of Fame and Museum in downtown Nashville and you'll step back to another time. So here we have the Hank Williams musical suit, which you will see Hank wearing when he sings the song Hey Good Looking on TV, which is amazing. This is one of my favorite artifacts. We've got the Tennessee Plowboy, Mr. Eddie Arnold, sold over 85 million albums. His song Cattle Call was one of his first big hits. King of country music, Roy Acuff, who was a huge star on the Grand Ole Opry. The 350,000 square foot museum showcases the history of country music and is packed with intriguing exhibits and one of a kind memorabilia. If you like history, I mean, you would love the Country Music Hall of Fame and Museum. We have a standout um, car upstairs that everyone sees, and it's Webb Pierce's um, Pontiac Bonneville convertible with bullhorns and rifles and pistols and silver dollars, and the seats are custom leather, and it's a saddle inside it. And there's horseshoes for the gas pedals and brakes. Um, we have things like uh, Gene Autry, Roy Rogers, Tex Ritter, so the essential cowboy singers, Eddie Arnold. So it's, it's one of those, those things as you walk by, it, it stops you in your tracks and it's like being a kid again, you know. Of course, this facility also houses the Country Music Hall of Fame, which was created in 1961. The huge rotunda is filled with plaques that name those who have been inducted. The hall honors many famous names you'll recognize and a few you may not. We have a guy named Steve Scholes who was inducted and he was with RCA Records and he was responsible for signing Elvis Presley. Um, we have someone like Dolly Parton who everyone knows and loves and you know beautiful singer songwriter vocalist star and you'll have someone like Roy Rogers who was inducted twice as a member of the Sons of the Pioneers and as a solo artist and he's the only person to be inducted twice. Um, Elvis Presley is a Country Music Hall of Famer and a Rock and Roll Hall of Famer so we have some that are both. It's just a spiritual place and we're constantly uh, adding new stars and updating them. Willie Nelson once said, I thought you had to die to get in this place <laughs> so I dressed up just in case at his induction. So it, it's definitely a spiritual place, like the final resting place for folks like George Jones and little Jimmy Dickens and Johnny Cash. So we, we definitely walk through here with sort of um, a humble heart and it's a bit of a church in here. No doubt the Country Music Hall of Fame and Museum has become a popular stop for those visiting Nashville and new exhibits are being opened frequently. Well, we just opened the brand new Alabama exhibit, and they're, they're huge. And um, we opened the Blake Shelton exhibit, and we, we, we focus on Hall of Famers, we focus on up and coming stars, we focus on um, people like Bob Dylan and Paul McCartney and folks that recorded in Nashville, but you wouldn't necessarily think country music for sure, but the influences cross over. And so this place really does a great job of telling the history um, from 1851 all the way to 2016 and we're really trying to appeal to older folks and younger folks. It's a diverse place and it crosses over into other genres of music. Maybe best of all, those attending the 2017 Cattle Industry Convention will have a unique opportunity to visit this amazing place during an exclusive Cattle Industry Stars and Guitars party featuring food, live entertainment, and a fun look back at the history of country music. You know, this, this is a place for cowboys. There's no question, and cowgirls, of course. In Music City, I'm Matt Fleck for NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen.